So, hey there, listener. This is Do You Want to Make a Podcast? Yes, that is the name of the show. We just have a couple bullet points that we need to hit before we start. One, there's a fireplace. It's fake. I've ruined everything. <laughs> Wait, should we start over? <laughs> Take two. Hello, listener. You are you are listening to because you're a listener. Take three. <laughs> This is... Wait, we should establish, like, what we want to talk about. What are the bullet points we need to hit here? I I got it. I got it. Okay, so we tell them that the show is called Do You Want to Make a Podcast? It is a fireside chat between two best friends who are on the hunt to create the perfect podcast. They have a lot of ideas, and they can't decide what they want to talk about. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's it. We that's 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 the synopsis. Like, then we'll then we'll plug the do we social want to media. Do like social media. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. So so we'll tell them to follow us at Do You Want to Pod, all spelled out. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also email us at Do You Want to Make a Podcast at Gmail dot com. That's it. That works for me. Wait, I think we just did it. We did it. That was my that was my plan all along. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. Yes, it is. Slap it to mic, slap it to bass. Slap it to mic. Oh, yeah, this terrible episode. I don't know. So your girlfriend is, has an event in is, your calendar that says, "Don't go to Jim's show." Like, Should we talk why? about this? Like why? I mean, in in my defense, I believe last week she had an event that was go uh, to Jim's go to show. Jim's show. Oh wait, it was last Sunday. Yeah, I think that's Jim's great. Mom. Instead of just having one event when you're going to something. You have you have that, and then she on every other that. possible day, don't go to. She this. does have it for the one day that she can go to the show, <laughs> the the next show I'm doing. She already has it in her calendar because it's the only day she can go. But I just love that it's don't go, don't go. <laughs> yeah, I, I never asked her about that. I meant to ask her about that. So maybe uh, she'll maybe she'll send us an email when she hears this episode. If well, and when. I'll probably talk to her before then. <laughs> I would hope so. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I'm pretty busy. Oh, wow. I'm pretty busy. So, um, here we are, again. Here. On our quest. Mm. It's funny. We call it a quest, but we never... Well, that's not true. We do go places sometimes. We could we could go somewhere today. No, I'm tired. Aw, uh, but I'll do... Okay. I will... I do the teleporting work. You just kind of got to hang I out. I just come for fun. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. But, so, I've recently... Um, we've talked before. There are two things I've been thinking about this morning, and uh-huh. there are things that we've talked about a lot. Okay. One is the laundry machine that's in the room that we're in. Mm. I don't actually have anything to say about it, but I thought about it again. I was like, I want to talk about this on the podcast. So for new listeners, this laundry machine is not <laughs> just <laughs> new to the Bloss household. It is a newer model, uh, you know, in and of itself. It also, it sings a fun song when the laundry is done. Sings a fun song when the laundry's done. Sings a fun song when the laundry starts. It's. Do we think Andrew Lloyd Webber designed this laundry machine? Or yes. like someone from the Broadway community? Someone did. Probably not Andrew Lloyd Webber because I actually like the music. <laughs> oh! Roast! Damn! Roast them! Oh, and also, if for those who haven't listened, the, the answer to all Andrew Lloyd Webber's song is to sing them in an animal voice, either meowing or barking the lyrics to his, uh, his hit tunes. Um, but yeah, I think this washing machine, I could easily see it becoming, it, it could probably take over the world. I think we've done that. Have we done that? I think we've done that. Yeah. Well, it still, it still stands. I yes. still think it could happen. So the other thing that I've been thinking about, uh, is fitness. Mm. Cause I have recently started going to the gym and I don't want to be one of those people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of, there's those many people. brands of those people at the gym. There's right. many brands of those. I don't want to be any. Life. I don't want to be any of those people. <laughs> but <laughs> you don't want to be because. Per- but wait, hang on. You have to be one brand of those. people. No, I'm gonna be my own person. I'm gonna be my well, own well, person. Well, that's what I meant. Your at brand. the gym. Okay. So what's like? There's see. We'll, we'll list through all the brands in a moment. But 
the the main brand you don't want to become you know fall victim to would be what one of those people that talks about going to the gym all the time and it's like wow it's so great wow my trans transformation tuesday uh-huh like that yeah that that shit mm-hmm. okay uh that's that's my big thing so i don't want to talk about it a lot but i do have to say uh it's not that bad it's it not feels as bad good, right it's not as bad so hey kids if you have been putting off go to the gym uh just go and i mean if you can get help like if you can find somebody that knows how to go to the gym and go with them also probably a good move because it does help I am very, very proud of you, Jim. This is awesome. Thank you. That's all I have to say. Also, it's weird to go to the gym when your name's Jim sometimes. Jim, Jim. Jim, Jim. Uh, for, and, and to, to piggyback off that, um, I would, hi- and this is uh, from having many different goals in my you know, experience going to the gym, from putting on muscle to being able to lift a certain amount of weight. I think if you go to the gym long enough, the only healthy goal that is repeatable over time and that doesn't put you in like a sort of a toxic headspace Uh is just going because you know it's healthy for you and it feels good. And you feel better when you leave. You you feel better walking out than you did walking in. That is, I mean, everyone's different. Everyone has different you know, journeys and goals. But I think that if you, you know, for those who are going to the gym or might be thinking about going, if you can break it down to at least that being your accomplishment, yes, it'll bring you lots of benefit to your life. Yes. Amen. There we go. Amen. Good, good, good job. Thanks, man. Hey, you want to make a podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Oh, by the way, my name is Jim Bloss. And I'm Joe Godley. Yeah, we didn't really say that. I have to say one more thing about the word gym. Uh-huh. Um, in a past life, uh, I was a teacher of children, mm. specifically of the high school level. Mm-hmm. And anytime they would talk about gym class, they would be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to gym. I have gym after this. And I would just hear gym, and I would think that they were using my first name. And obviously, in a teacher setting, you have to be Mr. Bloss. Right. And there was always a hot second where I'd be like, hey, why are you talking about me like that? And then I have to be like, oh, no, they're just talking about gym class. Yeah, that's and that's like, yeah. and that's a that's a thing too. Like when with the name Joe, anytime people say yo, no, so, I just hear like the end. Uh-huh. I think they're talking to me. Uh huh. And then I just so now I just ignore everyone, all the time. Wow. The, the I love your problem solving. <laughs> Let's circle back. You said in a past life you were a school teacher. Yes. This was uh, like what like. So, like, I'm thinking Avatar The Last Airbender. This was one of your past lives. Yes. You, this was what? Like, in the year, like, In the year 17? 3000. Not oh. Much has, not much has changed, but they live underwater. In the year 3000. So, you that's see, a future. That's I've, in the future. I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they live underwater. Do you know that song? No. <laughs> it's, it's a hit song from uh, everyone's favorite band. Uh-huh. The Jonas Brothers. I'm so glad that it's a song because I was thinking, how am I going to make this a bit where Jim said a past life, but he just told me that he yeah, was I'm from sorry. the future. I just was thinking about the Jonas Brothers. That was the third thing that I forgot to mention that I was thinking about. Uh-huh. Because the Jonas Brothers are back, baby. That's what I hear. Back and better than ever. Uh-huh. I heard one part of their new song on the radio and I was like, oh, this is a bop. Oh, uh, cool. This is a bop, but I don't remember anything about it. Like, I couldn't sing it for you now or anything. I can't even tell you what it's called. I just remember hearing it and being like, this is not bad. This is acceptable. I wonder if that's... Well, I'm sure it's a combination of your your change since you first heard the Jonas Brothers and their material probably maturing. Well, yeah, and the Jonas Brothers change. You know, they split up. They went and did their own thing for a little bit. They all got married, I believe. Yeah. So they, st- full circle, they started wearing purity rings, and now they're wearing marriage bands. Wow. Oh, my God. Don't I'm you love when connecting things all come the together? Dots. That's so great. Good for them. Um, are we making a podcast about the Jonas Brothers? Because I want to yes and all your offerings and be a good scene partner. But at the same time, dear God, do I not want to make a podcast about the Jonas Brothers? Well, let's expand the scope of that. Great. Right? Let's talk about the Jonas Brothers. Uh, what... What is the Jonas Brothers in what what are ways we can think about the Jonas Brothers? We can think of the Jonas Brothers as a thing 
that everyone hated at a time, and now we tolerate. Yes. So let's find, let's do a podcast okay. about things about that we hated, and now we're like... Opin- a change of opinions. Yes. Yeah, so like... Positive just, change of opinion. Yeah, so I, I think, I mean, this is the low hanging fruit, but I think event, like initially when Justin Timberlake started his solo career, I was not a fan because it was a, it was in the in a really fun mm-hmm. era of music where his stuff was kind of... I, I don't know how to put this. And then, and he, then he released the 2020 experience, and it was awesome. It was incredible. And all and all music by comparison also got really bad. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it's kind of like the sc- the scales tipped. Yep. And and it's not that his stuff was bad, but like when when Timberlake stuff first came out, we had we still had the Black Eyed Peas. Kanye West had not gone off the deep end and, w- and was still making good music. Uh-huh. There was a lot out there that. That was just a bop that, and a that, half. That revved my engine. And I was like, okay, this this Justin Timberlake stuff's all right. And then all that stuff went crazy. Timberlake uh, allegedly kept his sanity and kept getting better at what he did. Timberlake's also very funny. Yes. But one of my favorite things about singers is when they're also funny. Yep. R.E. Timberlake. R.E. Josh Groban. Mm. Josh Groban's very funny. I, I've not had the pleasure no, no, I haven't seen yeah, any of his comedy. Been, he's been in a couple, a couple movies. He had, he was, he, had, he had a guest role in the office where he played uh, Andy Bernard's brother. Oh shit! That like his parents like doted on all the time. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was great. Um, Do you think Josh Groban's mad that Adam Driver is just the more attractive Josh Groban? No. You think he's okay with it? Yeah, I think he's okay with it. And also, <laughs> I don't. I disagree. <laughs> Not you that think, Adam Driver is not. You think Josh Groban's the more attractive Adam Driver? Maybe. <laughs> I think Josh Groban. That's a podcast. I think Josh Groban is the most attractive Josh Groban. <laughs> Period. End of story. So oh, come on, that's that's. And just, Adam Driver is. Just is. I don't think like I don't. <laughs> I I know that there are people that look at Adam Driver and they're like, mm, yeah, rev my engine. Uh huh. Doesn't I mean? Granted, I'm I'm you know. You're you're not into the the male. I, I'm not into gender. the male gender, but like I see Josh Groban and I hear his liquid voice. <laughs> you think about it, and I'm like, "All right, I, right, all right, oh, I yeah. get it." And you hear the. I'm talking pure visuals. I'm not talking about. Nah, still Josh Groban for me. Okay. <laughs> I thought this. This is. I great. think Adam Driver looks a little bit like a fish. This not could... as much as Eddie Redmayne. Mm. Eddie Redmayne looks like a fish, but a, a very a fish. highly accomplished he's a, fish. He's an accomplished, <laughs> handsome fish, but he's still a fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I thought when I saw him up there the Les Miserables movie with you. Yes, one of the things that I thought over and over again is Marius's mouth looks like a fish mouth. It's giant, and he has no lips. What are some other highly accomplished fish? We have Free Willy, uh huh, Shamu, who has had many lives apparently. Yeah, because Shamu has been in Shamu, existence as Shamu's, long as Shamu's more of a title. Shamu's a state of mind. Yes, maybe. Um, Jaws. Jaws. Was that the name? Of, did they name the? I actually never seen Jaws, but did they name the shark Jaws, or is that just the name of the movie? Did they name the shark I something else? I don't think else? they ever really. They never really named the shark. Not in the first one, at least. They spent so much time with the shark, and they never gave it a they name. They really spent a lot yeah. of time with the shark. Well, you, it's funny. In one breath, I said I haven't seen the movie, and then I go on to talk about it as if I have. Well, I mean, so the whole thing about Jaws is that. Uh, it's one of those things where, uh, okay, so the story of jo- as long as we're, all right, the other famous fish is obviously the fish that Will Smith voiced in Shark Tale. Yes. Also, Rainbow Fish, great children's book. And Nemo, and that's it. End of list. Done. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Jaws. <laughs> We've come full circle. We talked about Jaws in our first episode. Holy shit! We did. So, that, so that's it. I guess we're Does done. Does that mean we're done? <laughs> no! Oh, no. Uh, so the thing about Jaws, I probably mentioned this in that epi, too, but we talked more about the music there. Uh, but, yes, that was John So James. the Jaws fish, the shark, mm-hmm. looked bad. It still looks bad. It looked <laughs> bad in 1970. It looks even worse now. <laughs> that is why you don't see the shark uh. until the end of the movie. That's why it became... You see from the shark's perspective, mm. like underwater, you see the feet kicking, yeah. and then the John Williams music came in, the yeah. iconic John Williams music came in, mm. and then the people got eaten, Makes and then a lot you, of didn't, sense. you didn't see the shark. Huh. Then you saw the shark at the end, and you're like, 
I understand why they did that now. That shark looks like a rubber fish because <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. It's a good flick, though. It's a good flick. We're going to need a bigger boat. We are if we're going to podcast on it. I still want to do ships on ships on ships. That's true. What are some of our favorite? Let's, let's take a look back real quick. What are some of our favorite bits of this quest that we've been on? Clearly ships on ships on ships. Uh, well, we're still trying to get a uh, sea lion tree line with National Geographic made. We're still we've got uh, yeah. requests out to Nat Geo. Uh huh. Um, haven't responded to our tweets. No, they haven't responded w- to anything. WTF? Um, WTF Nat G? We have a lot of people like the episode that we deleted. Well, they never. No one has ever heard the episode we deleted by accident. But our reaction to that episode that it's was a, fun. It's an instant classic, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, because we have been doing this for a year now. We have. So, so obviously now we're perfect. Uh, we're, Easily. We're crushing it every week. Yep. We come up with these great ideas. Like, I forget. I already forget what we've been talking about. I miss Gorp. <laughs> yes, Gorp was, was here. He'll be back again someday. Like Frosty. <laughs> Speaking of back again. Hey, it's Wilson too. Wilson, too. Cool. You're cool. here again on my shoulder. Cool. Still don't know what happened to Wilson 1. But, well, I mean, Wilson 2, he, he did that? tell us. But. What's that, Wilson 2? Cool. Cool. He says Wilson 1's fine. Okay. That's all That's all that I care about. I don't need to know exactly what my uh, pigeon is up to. Wilson 2 saying everything is fine with Wilson 1. Sometimes you just need that reminder that everything's okay from your pigeon friend. Everything's all right now. Everything's okay. fine. Speaking of, is that Angel Lee Whipper? Yeah, that's uh, from that's Joseph. Superstar. No, that's no, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Super, Christ Superstar. Superstar. Yep, yep, yep. I actually like that Weber. Is wait, is Joseph Weber too? Yes, it is. I actually like those two. Wait, Avita's Weber. Yes, it is. There's a lot of Weber. It seems that you like Jim. I like old Weber. I don't uh-huh. like '90s Weber or like '80s 90s Weber. Weber. I've not seen new Weber. Not seen '70s 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 Weber. Mm. Solid prime. '80s Weber. Thumbs, thumbs down. down. Yeah. '90s Weber. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. '2000s Weber. TBD. Hit or miss. Wh- what do you? I don't know. The wh- only thing I can think that he's done recently is um, School of Rock. He did the School of Rock. Which... He's off. He's he's obviously done Phantom Two. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah, apparently School of Rock does really well. I haven't seen it. I mean, see, I've seen the source material more times than I can count, but... that's qu- uh, There's a quality flick. Yes. Uh, that's Jack Black's magnum opus. That magnum and, the opus. Gulliver, and the Gulliver Travels flick. I wouldn't call it his magnum opus. Mm-hmm. It's probably his, like, most commercially friendly. Like, you know, like the whole family can watch that. And, whereas his, like, his Tenacious D stuff is pretty fantastic in my opinion, but it's not as widely... It's true. It's not as wide. Did you see the new Jumanji it. movie? I loved Jumanji. Yes, it was good. It was great. He was in it. He was great in it. We talked about that on the podcast. We did. Yeah. So that's another fave. I have an idea for a podcast now. Ooh. Based off the word magnum opus. Great. Let's go through celebrities' bodies of work and determine what their magnum opus is. Yes, we are the authorities. We are the magnum opus. I need to Google what magnum opus really means now, because I'm kind of using it fast and loose right now. <laughs> so let's Google magnum pi. Nope, magnum opus. Magnum opus is a large and important work of art, music, or literature, especially one regarded as the most important work of an artist or writer. All yes. right, so this is, this is uh, what's the word? Hang on. I'll get there. What's the, not like... It's like talking about biased, where it's the word that means, in our opinion, what's the what's the word? I don't know. Relative? No. Fuck. What is it? I don't know what you're trying to achieve. It's 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 a really good word that I usually use without thinking about it, and now I can't think about it. <sighs> subjective. It's subjective, because it's saying because the definition of magnum opus says you know regarded as the most important. Yes. The most important subjective, you know, so this is our It's our opinion, opinion on what the magnum, on the magnum opus. opus. The problem yeah. that the thing that you have to remember is that my word is law. 
Oh, is it now? So it's objectively on this on this podcast that's supposed to be a team effort. Your word is law. My word is law. Okay. I take your words into account when I declare the law. Damn, I'm not a fan of this, but we're already rolling down this hill. So, all right, I, uh, you you say that like I don't value your opinion. I value your opinion I just so much. Don't like this instant hierarchy you've created. It's not. I'm not digging it. Too bad. My word is law. I've already no. said it. No, I've already said it. Laws are broken all the time, though. Only if you want to go to prison. <laughs> what are you gonna What are you gonna do? You gonna How are you gonna put me in prison? I can teleport out of prison. I'll take I take your powers away. With what? My word is law. I've said it. Now it's happening. No. First off, first off, you want to t- get retrospective. I have said that before. Your word is law, but guess who's editing this episode? Me. No, I'm editing this one. You edited the last one. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's my good. word is law. My mouse is law. My. I'm okay with it though, because I'm actually pretty busy between now and the time this episode goes yeah. up. Yeah. So I was getting worried that I was wasn't gonna have time to. There you go. To put this baby <laughs> together. Yeah. So that's fine with me. Your word, our words are both mutually important, Jim. This has got to be a shared space because I'm editing this one. I am the law. And I'm going to make it a shared space. I am the law. But let's start this list of celebrities that we're going to uh, judge in the mo- ultimately. So do you want to generate, do you want to generate a random celebrity? Let's generate a random celebrity. Boop, 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 Kira Knightley. Oh, I was actually going to do it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think her, uh, her... All right, let's go. Let's go gut. Gut reaction. Kira Knightley, magnum opus. Go. Uh, King Arthur. I was going to say Pirates of the Caribbean. Which one? The first one, Obvi. Okay. I was just, I was saying King Arthur just to be a troll because no one has really watched that movie. I don't even know that it Yeah, exists. she was in a King Arthur movie like around the clear clear result of her coming rising to fame yeah she's just in this random king arthur movie yeah anyone could have played the role damn savage all right anyone could have i could have played it oh yeah was she guinevere maybe i forget (laughs) well so now we need to go to her wikipedia page obvi Uh uh-huh her top thing, so so based off <laughs> this, her top thing is Pirates of the Caribbean: Curse of yeah, the Black Pearl. Yeah, if you're going with IMDb, oh, I forgot she was in the Imitation Game. That was a good flick. She was in the Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Not that's not her magnum opus. She was Sugar Plum, didn't she? Didn't the Sugar Plum? I don't know. I didn't see that movie, so I don't <laughs> really know. Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Men Tell No Tales. Mm. It's not- Whoa, 2017! Jesus, I didn't even realize they made one in 2017. Oh yeah, yikes! Nobody saw it. Yeah, oof. Nobody saw it. Everest. It's not that. There's the Imitation Game. She was good in that. She might have gotten an Oscar nod for that. I forget. I haven't seen it. It's good. It's about uh, what's his face, it's right? About yep. What's his face? I'm gonna see if you can. No, come up Alan with Turing. Actual, yes. Yeah, baby. Well, it's Turing, but Turing. yes. Turing. Yeah. Uh. Oh, just scroll to the bottom and get to King Arthur already. That's what I was thinking of. She was Anna Karenina and Anna Karenina in 2012. Uh huh. That's that was supposed to be a pretty good flick too. My mom saw that. We could get her opinion. Cool. Uh. Hi, mom. The Duchess. Robbie the reindeer in Close Encounters of the Herd Kind. That was a TV short in 2007. That uh-huh. could that could be it. Here's the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Wow, 2007, 2006. Then the first one. There's King Arthur, which actually Her magnum came out. opus. Actually, uh, she was Guinevere. She yeah, was Guinevere. There you go. Okay. And first off, that was after Pirates of the Caribbean. So, I mean, oh, well, she was in Love Actually. Could be Love Actually. <laughs> We're bad at this. You can only have one magnum opus. I know. We need to. We need to pick. Let's do magnum opus is just based on the. <laughs> The, the cover art of the movie. What about only on the things that we've seen? Oh my god. She was in Phantom this, Menace. That's it. She was in <laughs> Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, as the Padme lookalike that Oh, gets yeah, killed. that was her? That's her magnum opus. That's her. <laughs> that's gotta be it. That, Anyone, is, that if, is the if most if influential been, film if in you've the been, last uh, while. If you've been in a movie with Jar Jar Binks, that ha- must be your magnum opus. Do you know that George Lucas was asked what his favorite Star Wars character was, and he answered Jar Jar Binks, just to be a dick? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But I like that, just based on the 
on the artwork of the movie with their magnum opus one. I mean, the problem is I haven't seen a lot of those flicks. I need to see more movies. Hmm. Uh, so let's let's generate a random uh, celebrity. And this was taking a while. Internet's slow. Jim, just pick one. It's your turn. <laughs> just the first thing that comes to your head. Come on, Jim. We're losing them. We're losing the listeners. Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, that's an easy one. I mean, but we have to go based on the on the album art. Not not album art, movie art. I really think it's Pulp Fiction, though. Pulp Fiction's a quality flick. I'm not counting any of the Marvel stuff because I, I can't. Um, well, I mean, yeah, those aren't those aren't like his his main things. He was in The Hateful Eight. Okay. He was in. He was in. I'm trying to think. Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. That. What am I talking about? He was in Phantom Menace. I know. I That's just... his magnum opus. Of course. <laughs> How could we have been so he foolish? Was... I forgot, because uh, since I'm editing this episode, my word is law. If you've been in a movie with Jar Jar Binks, that's your magnum opus. Okay, this looks like we've got to generate another celebrity. Oh, we're, we're skipping now. Not, okay. I thought I was going to get a turn. No, I'm just doing the spin music. Oh, okay. Willem Dafoe. Uh, Spider-Man. Which one? The first one, obviously. Well, he's a ghost in, like, the other ones, so I figured. Has he been in a movie with Jar Jar Binks? I don't, <laughs> you, I don't believe so. Tell you what was not his magnum opus? Aquaman. Oof. Was I he mean, in Aquaman? He did a good job, but that movie was bad. Really? Yeah, it was bad. That's disappointing. It was the bad IMO. Disappointed! What, uh... Great Willem Dafoe performance that no one has seen uh, is Daybreakers. It's a really, it's got uh, Ethan Hawke in it. It's about uh, basically in a world where every the majority of folks are vampires. There it is. You said Daybreakers. I was like, this has to be about vampires. Yeah, it's 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 a very good movie. But no, his magnum opus. Hate to disagree with you, Jim. Was the Boondock Saints. I knew you were gonna say that. That I knew you were gonna say that. <sighs> How is how am I incorrect on this? I don't know. Have you seen it? You made me watch it once. Yes. Ah, uh, so good. But to be fair, like to answer this question, we need to see all the movies these folks have been in. So. I mean, he's been nominated. Uh, the The thing, the interesting thing about Willem Dafoe is Willem Dafoe does a lot of like smaller films, mm -hmm. and then he'll get nominated for an Oscar for them, and everyone will be like, "What the heck movie is that?" And he'll be like, "It was a movie that Willem Dafoe was in." Yeah. Last couple of years, like he's been nominated twice in like the last three or four years for like movies, and you're like, never even heard of this movie. It's right. the only thing that it's nominated for. Then he loses. <laughs> so, oh, well, guess um, it wasn't that good. That's n not true at all. I know. You silly boy. I know. Um. All right. So, should we go one more? <sighs> or do we want to? Or do we want to call it a day? Uh, I'm tired. All right. I can't think of any more celebrities. I'm out of celebrities. That's it. Okay. So I think we've covered a good deal of ground today, James. Uh, yeah, we talked about magnum opuses. We, we gave people advice on living a healthy lifestyle. We talked about all the famous fish. Yep. That have ever been or will be. Yeah. Oh, Dory. Really? Sorry. Got to put Dory in Oh, there. I said Nemo. You, right. And then you said end of list. So That's I'm, true. I'm... I'm, I'm all right, adding fine. Dory to Dory the list. Can, Dory can come. Um, also, a lot of the famous fish we mentioned are whales, <laughs> which is technically not a fish. We're, we're under Not only are we incorrect, we're underrepresenting every other species of fish. Okay, again, a whale is not a fish. Yes, I said first. You're I, that representing was other species of right, fish. Right. And so you made it sound like whales are fish again. Okay. Indirectly, yes. What I was trying to say was we were wrong to categorize whales as fish. The second was, by doing so, we're underrepresenting all other species of fish. 
Uh, we have a quick hello to our moms, but here's another one. Hi, mom. Um, yeah. Hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. If you like the show, give it um five stars on the tunes apple uh podcasts or wherever you're listening uh give us a review let us know what you like uh maybe don't if if you want to let us know what you don't like send us a dm maybe or a pro or an email at uh do you want to make a podcast at gmail.com or find us on facebook or twitter or instagram at do you want to pod and tell tell your friends and tell a friend Tell an enemy. Tell your lover. Tell your haters. Tell your mom. Tell, tell the, your dad. Tell the bakers and the candlestick makers. And the butchers. Mm-hmm. And the kutchers. Ashton Kutcher. Tell uh, yes. him. And the... Chinookers? That's not a thing. No, I'm but it is of, now. Tell the Chinookers. Tell the Chinookers. And we will see, we won't see you. We will touch base with you next week. Kisses. Bye. Bye, I love you. Mom. Bye, Mom. I don't need your mile long bridge. Williamsburg is too expensive. Fuck the A train. Am I insane? No, I'm just never. Smoke.